Uh-huh. How do you get here? Huh? That was quick. <laughs> I wanted to come in and kind of do a voiceover clip because this was me showing you what I got for my birthday for my son and my husband. I got a new tripod um, that held both my new camera as well as my cell phone, which I thought was a great piece. I also got a microphone that came with storage um a storage bag a microphone and it also came with the fuzzy thing to cancel out any kind of background noise any kind of wind as you can see i'm here um putting it on and showing you guys what it is but the star of the show was the vlogging camera my very first vlogging camera which is the canon eos m50 mark ii it's one of the newer vlog cameras that just came out it's very compact it's very small it's not um heavy it's very lightweight um it came with a starter lens which is a zoom lens which you can zoom in and out um i'm still getting used to the settings i've been watching a couple youtube videos on how to set it up um because it does come with autofocus and i was having a difficult time understanding how to transition through that um please forgive me for like moving so fast through the clips but um this is my first unboxing um i was just showing you the battery that came with it it also came with a memory card um it was only 64 gigabytes or no it did not come with a memory card actually my son gave me that memory card i must say he did it does have a flash button at the top so this microphone is one of the good microphones it really works well and um, you snap it on, tighten it up, and then you add the, you'll see me add the camera onto the tripod. Um, and it's pretty easy to use. It also has a mirrorless um, viewfinder, so which is at the back. And you'll see in a clip coming up where I show you how it actually looks. So this is the whole camera setup there. Um, I'm not sure if I cut out that part where it shows you that, but actually it's like you can see yourself, but it's not from the top. It actually comes out to the side. It rotates. You can snap it back to the back. And it this next clip, I am showing you guys how I make my um, shrimp ceviche. I use cooked shrimp. Here's all the ingredients, cucumber, um, cilantro, jalapeno, lime, roma tomatoes a red onion um i'm chopping up i was a little bit bad at the um camera angle so you see me fixing it but i will be getting better at that practice makes perfect that's what i tell myself every time i'm doing this so i'm just chopping up all the ingredients and adding it to the um the shrimp now the shrimp was pre um washed and also um normally i get the lime juice in the shrimp first but this day um it was that late in the evening after the saturday after my birthday and we didn't really have anything planned so i just kind of went with what i got from the grocery store and i was also cleaning out my freezer and my refrigerator so I felt like I'm going to just throw everything at the wall and make it stick. And ceviche happens to be something that I love to make. It's a great summer dish. And I hope that you guys um, enjoy looking at these little clips of me doing some recipes. I will be continuing to bring some more recipes to you as winter and fall comes in. I'm going to be on a Mediterranean kick because I'm also going to be trying to 
get myself a little bit more healthier and control my A1C levels because they're still a little bit too high. So back to the ceviche once you see me here um add in i'm just chopping up the cucumber i love cucumber sometimes i just eat cucumbers just like that with some salt and pepper and it is really great for you i drink it in my water and all that so definitely um if for the um, ingredients for the ceviche, the full ingredients, I'm actually going to leave them in the description box. So if you want to make your own ceviche, you can definitely do that. Normally, ceviche is made with raw fish, but I preferred the shrimp ceviche. You can make it any how you want to. I did find another recipe which includes um, radish and it is like a cocktail and I'm going to make that next. I'm not sure when. It might not be the next video, but stay tuned because I will definitely um, think. You see me add salt and pepper to taste and once I put it all together, I got out my nice little dish that I got from Marshall's for like $5.99 um, and I use these around Thanksgiving as serving dishes and I actually added all the um, ceviche in there. I sealed it with my um, Glad seal and I actually put it in the refrigerator for about an hour so that it could chill and set and that's... Good morning, happy Sunday. And um, out in the handy dandy thing. There we go, we back, we back, we back, we back. We back and um, I am eating coconut cashews that I bought the other day when I went to get my nails done for salt to water. I know y'all all look in my face. But um, we are, the rain is gonna fall today. So I'm glad we grilled yesterday. What the fuck? Whew, my stomach just went into my belly. Like my heart just a boop. <laughs> I thought somebody was about to hit us. Mm. I have not had coffee. This is day one of not having coffee. And I just spilled all my peanuts on the ground. Yep. But that's okay. That's a sign that say I ain't supposed to eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but... I'm, I'm wearing the new wig that I bought yesterday. You gotta put your flare on it because let me tell you. Right out the box. She look a happy mess. She is a mess right out the box. But I just kind of pizzazz her a bit, aligned her where I need to. Make sure you put the hair behind your ears and kind of do it. I added mousse to it and stuff and kind of gave her a little, little oomph, you know? But, yeah, that's pretty much what I did with her. I put on a little bit of makeup. Yeah. I need to get new makeup. I really do. And so I'm going to look around at some of the makeup girls and see what they uh, recommend. Because I watched um, Sh Makeup by Shayla's recent video and she talked about how there's not a lot of great makeups because of the pandemic. So there's not a lot of good makeup coming out. Since I that Dior um, foundation. <coughs> so I'm going to um, go on to Sephora's and actually pick that one up. Because I have to um, put my mask on. <coughs> but before we go up in here. I can't believe I spilled my nuts. <laughs> Don't spill your nuts. Big is so fresh, let me tell you. He a pervert. But I love him. <clears throat> Come on, let's go up in old time pottery. Now, I do not believe this is a store that's everywhere. I think it's open to not a whole lot of folks. So let me go on over here and I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. They got something like that already. I had these last year, but 
a year before last, and I'm not sure if I want to do them. But I definitely want to do some of the white ones. I'm going to pick up some of them because they're $1.99. Uh, I'm going to Because I think this year the theme that I'm probably going to go for is like a winter wonder wonderland, like a crystal kind of look. So let me I'm grab like two of them. Yeah, I think I know what theme I'm looking for. Oh, I'm not sure. I've not done this one. I Oh, this is cute. 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 I did get something from Hobby Lobby last year. But I think these are cute. I don't know yet what I'm doing. Something similar to this before, which I do have in my storage bin. I actually had these, but I can't remember if it was green. Um, I think these, the prices there, these are 10 bucks. What are these, the tablecloth? Yeah, the tablecloth. I'm doing a winter theme. Let's see. Turn out to me. Those are cute. They have those every year. I just pick that jacket. I like a I like a specific garden, and this is in it. I bought my darling last year, so I already know where mine is, but we didn't come for this, but let's go to the cookie section. table outside that this could definitely go on top of. I have no idea where they run off to with my shopping cart. Like, where is my shopping cart? Actually, where my husband went to, but I have no idea. Because he walks off with my shopping cart and then leaves me here with this in my hand. Oh, look at this. This is super cute.
Y'all might think these little wagons are super cute, but I have no idea what I'm putting on my door this year. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm putting on my door this year, but we'll see what I'm putting. I picked up these two pumpkins because they kind of go with what I'm looking for. Hey, look at these little things here. Super, super cute. Oh, these are the garden flags. Cloth on any markers I actually like, like matte. We got everything in here. Dog. Ooh. Let's see what these are for fall. Oh, look at those. Those are so pretty. My theme is mostly green and green, so yes, the pumpkins. Oh, the right in front of the fireplace. Yes. I mean, I was into if you're into glitz and gown, like this is a gorgeous, gorgeous look for the pumpkins. Like, and they're only ten dollars. Now they don't have armor. So that's why I can't even tell you to go to look it online. But let me tell you what I like for reefs and like as my reef. This is going to be my reef for my door. Yep. So I need to find the husband. So hold on one second. Okay, I got my shopping cart because somebody went off. This is the door reef. Yeah. You know, I don't like orange. Like all that orange. Yeah, like I like this one. I actually like this one too, but ooh, she expensive. No, I like the whole thing. How much is this one? Oh, that's 30 bucks. Oh, this one is kind of cute with the 20 for 20 too but i can leave these up for thanksgiving yeah okay i got my shopping cart because somebody why not this is the door reef yeah you know i don't like orange like all that orange yeah, like I like this one. I actually like this one too, but ooh, she expensive. No, I like the whole thing. How much is this one? Oh, that's thirty bucks. No, this one is kind of cute with the twenty for twenty. These are cute too, but. I can leave these up for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking around. Different. Oh, these are my colors right here. Like when I tell y'all, like I love this, and I can make my own because I make my own. I'm um, thinking, should I make my own wreath again this year? because I made my own thing and these are $35 and they have the things to make it which is what I love about old time pottery look at these super super cute oh I'm so in love so so in love somebody knocked the shit off and then put it back I could do these I don't think I've had something like this before. I'm thinking I need to go through my packet. Yeah, I definitely need to go through my packet. Let me see something. Oh, that's the garden section right here. I don't have anything out there. This is cute. And this one's cute. This is super plain. It's $12. Oh, this is nice. This is actually a cute little thing. 
and that's 12 something. It's different. So, I'm thinking this year I might want to make my own because they have everything for you to make your own wreath. They have all this, and these are like this one is six ninety nine. So we're gonna grab this. Well, let's get a good one because I don't know if I want a huge wreath. So you can, yeah, this one is big. And it is $9.99. But we're going to go with a medium size one. This one is $6.99. Yeah, we're going to go with this size. And then we are going to make our own stuff that we're going to glue to it. I got stuff, so let's go dig in the basket for the mini packets. So here they are. So they come in a little packet, and you can take this and add it to your basket. And you add it to your wreath. Uh -huh. Yeah, because they kind of pack them together, and you can glue them on. Let's see. See, they got like little pumpkins. These are a dollar. This is what I love. The mini pumpkins. I have an idea for these that I want to do. Like one, two. And then these are the mini ones, which you'll stick them like in between if you want to. So, yeah. Look, it comes with a packet, as a packet, look. 